Hello everyone, it's Saturday. You know what that means. Back for another vlog. So, um, we're going to get things going. I will see you in a bit for breakfast. Okay everyone, I am back and I've got my breakfast pulled together. I got my um, coffee. This is the um, coffee with the organ in it, protein, chocolate protein. And I have some chaffles. It's just regular chaffles and one scrambled egg with um, sausage in it. And I'm going to eat this and we're going to get into the meal prep and discussing what I'm going to be eating for the week and what could occur, excuse me, can't talk, and what could occur uh, or not. So I will be back. Okay, you know what time it is? Food prep time. And I've already gotten some things together. This is just one tray of bacon, but there's actually two trays of bacon. And I got some um, chicken strips, some boneless, skinless chicken strips. Um, I was planning on wrapping them in said bacon and cook them, but um, when I got home, all the bacon was cooked. So what we're going to do is just put these babies in the air fryer. The air fryer is so bomb. I'm. So, how many times have I said I love my air fryer. So these are already seasoned. There's just salt and pepper because since I didn't wrap them in bacon, there's not going to be any fat on them. So I can just um, create some type of a dipping sauce for it. So yes. Do not mind this pan. These are my burgers. Yeah, I'm back to my famous burgers. If you're new to my channel, I would do burgers every single meal prep so yeah the burgers are on top of a pan that has been cooked you know they have bacon in it and i'm i'm fine with that and there is bacon inside the burgers you know how i like to do it take some, one egg take some bacon a couple slices grind it up in your little um food processor throw it in with the ground beef salt pepper you're good to go. So these are going to go in the oven about, I'm going to say 350-ish until they're um, done, but not overdone. And here's a cauliflower. So my thought was to make um, loaded cauliflower, um, mashed loaded cauliflower, actually. I'm going to be coming off my egg fast. Um, tomorrow, which this will load tomorrow. You'll be seeing everything Saturday since today is Friday and we're prepping everything. So this will be probably like my second meal of the day, but we're going to um, pull it together and see what happens. Okay, because... These strips are so lean. What I'm going to do is use a little bit of avocado oil on them before I place them in the air fryer. Okay, the first batch is in and ready to go. So it's only taking a few because mine is not that big and I don't want to overcrowd it. So they're so small, they're not going to take long to cook. So I'm not going to worry about it. Here we go. Okay, I am going to get this peeled and cut up. And I'm not going to bore you guys while I do that. So let me get started and I will be right back. Okay, these are now all roughly cut where they would fit nicely into a pot. So that's what I'm going to get ready to do is place them into a pot. Mmm, the burgers are done. 
It looks so delicious. It smells so good. And here is the first batch of the chicken strips. And the second batch is going into the air fryer. Well, just to show you some of the silliness I do. Now, I had those chicken strips and these were like really tiny pieces. I didn't want to put in the air fryer because they would get overdone and be all ew, gross and dried out. I just put them in the dash and it cooked it perfectly. Look at this. Unfreaking believable. Okay, we're getting ready to cook the bell peppers. So I'm going to put them in an already very hot cast iron. Clear the sizzle. Okay. So I am actually cooking these in um, bacon fat and butter. And the only thing I'm going to season these with a little bit, some salt. And a little bit of, um, let me see this, garlic. No, it's not garlic, um, onion powder. And it's not going to take these long to cook. Turn it down a bit. Let that kind of cook there. Okay, while we have the um, peppers cooking, we're going to mash up all this um, cauliflower. And it don't have to be super mashy for me because we like it kind of chunky, but I'm gonna get it really nice and fine. to try to dump some of these peppers in here. Let's see. Okay, giving this a good stir and of course we have some cheese we're going to add to it And I'm going to get this put into a casserole dish. Okay, got it into our dish. And now, just to top it off with a little bit more cheese.
And this will go into a 350 degree oven until the cheese is nice and bubbly. There it is, nice and bubbly and sizzling. So my meal prep is complete.